One of the most common things to film FPV videos with is a GoPro. However, GoPros can be somewhere between 100 to 180 grams, depending on which version you get, and especially the newer ones, which are only getting heavier. One way that really clever users discovered was to make the GoPro naked. And what that actually means is just ripping your GoPro apart and taking out all the parts that are essential for filming and throwing out the rest. And if you've done it enough times as I have, you're gonna end up with a little drawer like this with a bunch of GoPro parts that looks like they were destroyed. But the GoPros are actually working just fine on somebody else's drone. All this extra stuff like a screen and a battery bay and the battery itself, you don't really need that when you're up in the air and you could save the weight because when you're flying, every single gram counts. The second that you crack open your GoPro and make it naked, you pretty much lose all of that. It's not very durable. It's definitely not waterproof. And one more thing, you actually lose the ability to record for a long time unless you're flying because part of the frame is actually a heat sink for the CPU of the GoPro. And without it, and without airflow from flying, your GoPro is gonna overheat. Now this can be absolutely devastating because if you're flying on a job and you get the shot and it was a really amazing thing, but then something happens as you're coming back and you crash out in the middle of the field, now you gotta go find your drone and it may take you five, 10 minutes to go do that. However, in that time, your GoPro probably will overheat, especially if it's as hot out as it is today. And I've had that happen to me before and it literally tanked an entire job. I lost the entire day's footage because it not only destroyed the footage that I was getting, it also corrupted everything before. And it was the reason why I started looking for another solution. Now, when you open your GoPro, the main chassis, which is where the screen is at, is pretty much the bulk of the weight. We can see that it weighs about 54 grams. That's not counting the battery either. That's a lot of weight saving right there. And absolutely, that's the main reason why you wanna take apart your GoPro is that back piece that you don't need. But also, there came this little front plate right here, which is where your camera is screwed to and where the main board is also screwed to. When I took it off, I noticed this little pad right here. And so I'm like, oh man, so that's why GoPros are overheating because they don't have this front plate right here, which is a pretty big heat sink that dissipates all that heat. So I weighed it and I saw that it only weighed 13 grams. And then I saw this little guy right here. And I thought, no, surely that can't be. Indeed, it is. It's the microphone. That's why you're losing the microphone when you go naked because you don't have this front plate. And that was it for me. I had made my decision. This board right here was staying, but that did mean that I was gonna have to make my own solution. And so I give you the Never Nude GoPro. Now, one thing that I can say is that this thing has crashed quite a few times and I have not seen any damage at all. The DRX custom ND filter system protects the camera really well. And on the Never Nude GoPro, you actually don't see it in your field of view at all. Now, it took me a long time to get the measurements just right. But as you can see here, this will receive the Dr. Quad's ND system just fine. So you just need one ND system for all of your endeavors if you use the Dr. Quad's ND system. As you can see here, my DJI O3 takes the same ND. Pretty fantastic. I'm very proud of this. <laughs> Did a good job. And you have a nice little carrying case for it that you can get over at drquads.com or you could print it yourself because I will be releasing a video for this as well. But okay, let's take the front panel off and I can show you what it's all about. If you're not printing this with Polymaker Polymax, then what are you doing with your life? Okay, so once the front panel comes off, you can see that it's actually held with self-tapping screws. I'll have links to all of that. If you guys thought I was really clever for this, well, I hate to break it to you, but uh, most of this is GoPro's work. This is what would come off of your GoPro as you were making it naked. Now you do still need to buy the GEPRC Beck that goes for the Naked 8. It's just the best one there is, and that's what I designed into my build. It's got these two buttons up here for record and power, and they're pretty fantastic. Now the front screen protector was actually designed by myself and that is to house a 19.56 diameter piece of glass just to protect the lens from scratches or dust or things like that. You don't necessarily need it, but I definitely recommend it. So that's pretty much the build video. You just take apart the GoPro 8 like you normally would for any naked build, but you just stop when you get to this part right here. You don't take this off. And to go on to the DRX Never Nude GoPro system, it just goes on there. You get your screws, you screw it on. That's it, it's done. You're done. I mean, that's wow, that was really easy, right? Now, if you're the kind of person that's a little bit scared of opening up a GoPro and turning it naked, I understand. The first time I did it, I was absolutely terrified. But lucky for you, I do sell the fully built Never Nude GoPro over my website. So if you want one, go ahead and pick it up. Now, the extra weight of this GoPro is still a consideration for some, and a lot of people probably would say, that's a deal breaker. But for me, 
Having the added benefit of the DRX-ND system, crash resistance, heat dissipation, and of course, a microphone is just too sweet to pass up. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the never new Dr. Quad's GoPro. Guys, make sure to like and subscribe and consider supporting my Patreon. Follow the links in the description below to the files from this video, and I hope you guys have an easy time building it. This is Dr. Quads, and I'll catch you next time.